Thevenin's theorem. In any linear bilateral network, the current that flows through a load resistance RL connected between the terminals A and B is given by the equation IL is equal to V0 divided by RI plus RL or it also can be represented as it also can be represented as uh, IL is equal to VTH by RTH plus minus RL. Okay. So this is what the expression that is given by the Thevenin's theorem. Okay. So now we are going to understand what it is. First definition in any linear bilateral network, the current that flows through the load resistance RL. Okay, other on the linear bilateral network load resistance mukantra inflow the current na now kalagin expression mukantra bari bodo connected between A and B can be given by the current that is flowing through the RL is given by Anta Artha IL is equal to VTH by RTH minus RL. You have VTH and Reno RTH and Reno VTH is a Thevenin's voltage, RTH is Thevenin's resistance. So, it, we, VTH and RTH find out more than our point. Once we find out the VTH and RTH, we know that RL is the load resistance. Whatever the resistance that is there at the load, load side, E and resistance, then and Avenant TV, load resistance and then TV. IL and the current that is flowing through the load resistance. VTH voltage, Thevenin's voltage, RTH Thevenin's resistance. If you don't know now, find out more about Kyoga. Right? So that is your procedure. That is what is going to be there in your procedure. So that is simple again. V0 is open voltage circuit across the terminals A and B when RL is removed. Okay. And uh, it is also called as Thevenin's voltage. RL is the internal resistance of the network. R, 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 RI is the uh, internal resistance of the network. RL is the load resistance of the network. Looking back into the network from A and B, when RL is removed, all the EMF sources are represented by its internal resistance. RL load resistance connected between A and B. Okay. RL is the load resistance connected between A and B. When all the EMF sources are represented by its internal, internal resistance and when RL is removed. Okay, we are going to get the open voltage. So that is what you are going to understand in the procedure. What happens in the procedure? Okay. Here, procedure to be adopted for Thevenin's theorem. First, we are going to discuss. Consider the circuit shown in the figure A. RL is the load resistance connected between A and B. Okay. So, here you have the figure A. Okay. This is your RL. RL is the load resistance connected between A and B. Okay. Now, this, this is a linear bilateral network. Here where we are going to apply our, this is the linear bilateral network and here where we are going to apply our Thevenin's theorem. Okay. First step one, what is this? To find out open circuit voltage, I mean VTH across the load, remove the RL and find the VTH across AB. Here what we are going to do, first we are going to remove the RL, load resistance. By removing RL, we are going to find out the open circuit voltage. This is how we are going to find out the open circuit voltage by removing RL okay and that open circuit voltage is called as the VTH or Thevenin's voltage we are going to call it as Thevenin's voltage okay that is what he says voltage between A and B is equal to voltage across <gasps> RS okay voltage between A and B is a voltage across RS R3 not RS R3 the voltage across R3 is going to be equal to the voltage, Thevenin's voltage. Why? Because R3 and VTH both are in parallel with the source. So that is why whatever the voltage that is applied across the source is going to be equal, uh, uh, equal applied across the R3 and the same voltage is applied across the Thevenin's uh, voltage also, VTH, whatever that we have, VTH will be always equal to the voltage across the R3 because they are in parallel keep this in your brain next step two to find the internal resistance rth of the network looking back into the network from a and b okay looking back into the network from a and b and here you have the diagram okay the internal resistance of the voltage source is zero it is considered as zero but most of the times the internal resistance will be there but here what he has done he has just short circuited the voltage source here we had the voltage source, right? 
so in the next diagram what we have done we have short circuited the voltage source why we have short circuited the voltage source the internal resistance of the voltage source is considered almost equal to zero or approximately equal to zero that is why it is short circuited and then by by short circuiting this what we do we look the circuit from this direction we look the circuit from the direction a and b okay by looking the circuit from, from the direction a and b we write a equation for the resistances what is the equation for the resistances replace v by internal resistance r is equal to zero as i told you now find the internal resistance total inter, inter, internal resistance or equivalent resistance the equivalent resistance is given by rth is equal to r2 plus r1 plus r1 r3 divided by r1 plus r3 okay this is the formula for equivalent resistance of this one you know r2 is the is in series with r3 and r1 parallel r3 and r1 are in parallel okay so r2 is in series with r1 r3 parallel okay first first you understand r1 and r3 are in parallel you should use the parallel formula that is given by r1 r3 divided by r1 plus r3 then you will add it to the r2 because r2 is in series with r1 and r3 equivalent resistance okay so that is why the equation becomes that is why the equation becomes r2 plus r1 r3 divided by r1 plus r3 ohms now we shall go to find the current through the load resistance to find the current through the load resistance il is equal to vth we have found out we how do how do we find the vth by open circuiting the terminals a and b we find the voltage of the voltage at the a and b terminals okay so that is what we are going to call it as vth and rth is the resistance okay resistance that we have found out by short circuiting the uh, voltage source because we consider the voltage source internal resistance is zero that is why we short circuit it and we find out the uh, given rth once you find out vth and rth put them in the formula il is equal to vth by rth plus rl you will get the il load resist uh, current through the load or current through the load resistance okay and then you draw the thevenin's equivalent circuit okay here you have rth here you have vth replaced by v and the other resistance network of the given network this is how you are going to solve the thevenin's theorem you are you are going to apply the thevenin's theorem to solve a linear bilateral network okay